Hi guys, well it is day one at Computex 2019 and we're over at the ASRock booth here is Edwin. He's going to be talking us through some of the boards that we've got here behind us and you'll know that uh, the X570 has just been unveiled and uh, we've got around 10 boards that are coming from ASRock here. Um, so can we run through some of the uh, you know, significant ones that you've got there? Yeah, so uh, just as you said, uh, we got a total of 10 motherboards uh, for the X570 chipset. Uh, from a mini ITX all the way to a full size extended ATX. So I'll just run to, to you through uh, some of the special motherboard from us. So let's start from this one, the X570 Creator. Uh, this one is aiming at the content creator market. So uh, mainly for the video editing, for you know, photo, Photoshop, and all those kind of stuff. Okay, so you know, with it being uh, for those particular markets, yeah. is there anything? specifically on there that's different to other boards? Sir. Yes, so uh, this uh, X570 Creator is the first AMD motherboard that can support uh, Thunderbolt. So it has a Thunderbolt controller on board on this motherboard. If you see the, the in the back I.O., you have two Type-C Thunderbolt port. And also you have uh, two uh, display port in. That's one at the back and one over here on the, on the motherboard. So this one, the idea is we have a graphic card that has an internal display port connector. So instead of routing your, your cables from outside of the chassis, you can actually do it from the inside. So the, for, better for cable managing. Okay, nice. And uh, what other boards have we got here which our perhaps you know, viewers would like to see? So uh, let's see from, uh, we of, of course we have our X570 Steel Legend. This one's quite a pop popular uh, lineup from us. You've done a Z390 just recently, haven't you? Z390 and B450. This time, uh, for now, we have the new X570. So this will aim at the mainstream uh, market uh, for the, as you can see, the better looks, better RGB lighting, and also the camouflage uh, PCB artworks. Yeah. Anything else? Uh, perhaps we'll have a look at another one? Uh, there's another special motherboard uh, here. This one is the X570 uh, Phantom Gaming ITX TB3. So this motherboard, it will be the first and maybe the only uh, mini ITX motherboard for the X570 chipset. The reason is because the X570 chipset is uh, it's quite big and also uh, it's, it needs a lot of space to design uh, the, the circuitry and everything. So uh, this one, we use a very unique design. We deleted the traditional uh, M4 bracket, the stock cooler bracket. Instead, uh, we adopt the uh, CPU mounting method from the Intel. So you can see here there are four holes. That's exactly the same as the hole as the, the LGA 1151. So you can use uh, any aftermarket uh, cooler as long as they can support 1151 socket. Yeah. And uh, with there being uh, obviously a small form factor there, have we got any micro ATX? Micro ATX, uh, we have this one here. This one will be the only micro ATX uh, X570 from us, the X570M Pro 4. This one, uh, still a very nice design, 10 VRM power face for the CPU, and also uh, one M.2 heatsinks. Yeah. And uh, that's great. But well, when are we going to be able to get our hands on all of these boards here? When are they releasing? The official launch for the X570 uh, platform is July 7th. So we will make sure that we hit the market on time. Okay. Yeah. And we have any pricing or not available yet? Uh, not yet, sorry. Okay. Yeah. All right, great. Thanks very much, Edwin. Thank you.